Until this day, the beach was a peaceful place. James and Willie, local boys, even considered it a piece of heaven. An enormous boat of the Coast Guard had other ideas. It didn't leave its mark just on the beach, but also on these innocent local boys. James and Willie, among many other people, were completely overwhelmed by the crash. The size of the boat surely had the ability to leave behind a trail of destruction, and they soon had to figure out whether it did. But the reason for this crash was the truly disturbing part of it all. While others considered it an accident, James and Willie knew there was more to it. As local boys, they had seen enough things to realize something was very odd about all of this. They went to great lengths to find out why the boat crashed and who was responsible, and were terribly shocked when they found out. After finding out why this enormous boat crashed here, why at this particular time, and who was involved, the boys didn't hesitate. The police had to get there, and the sooner, the better. The end of summer was coming, but for now, James and Willie still had the time of their lives. The twin teenage boys lived near the coast and spent each and every day on the beach. This very day, most of the tourists had left by now, so it was a perfect day to surf. But this perfect day would soon take a turn. The boys were racing each other to catch the first wave. The day was perfect for it, it was windy and sunny at the same time. Willie clearly won the first round and took on the first wave with success. But when the boys went in for round two, something in the distance caught their attention. It was multiple speeding boats off the Coast Guard. James and Willie were not unfamiliar with them, but something seemed different this time. Usually, it was just one boat patrolling along the coast or making contact with the jets floating on the sea. This time, it was at least two of them, and they drove at high speed in the direction of the beach. The boys tried to determine whether the Coast Guard was chasing someone, or maybe rescuing someone who was drowning. Now that they were coming really close to the beach, the boys assumed that someone must be drowning. They thought they might be closer since they were already in the water, and started going in the direction of the boats. They would regret this, but one of the boats didn't slow down the second one, stopped when the beach came too close, but the first one kept on going at high speed. Luckily for the boys, they were just far enough to get out of the way in time, but there was no time to be relieved, as the enormous boat was only seconds away from the beach. The boat speeds onto the beach with great speed, but is soon stopped by crashing into the sand. The first thought of James and Willie is to look for any possible victims, as there were some people lying on the beach before. They take a look and are relieved to see there's no one hurt. But what in God's name happened here? That very moment, a Coast Guard left the boat. He's soaked in sweat and seems extremely anxious. Unlike the boys, he's not concerned about the beach and possible victims, but keeps looking into the sea. The boys try to ask him if he's okay, but he doesn't respond. Something turned out to be very odd about this Coast Guard. The other and smaller patrol boat was way closer by now, and they reached the beach. Two Coast Guards walked toward them. They were extremely distressed and sprinted toward the anxious Coast Guard. Only when they saw some citizens were around, they changed their attitude. The other citizens left, assuming it was an accident, but James and Willie knew better. James realized they had to stay close and listen in order to find out what happened, but Willie was the one the closest to the boat in the water and just managed to get out of the way in time. For that reason, he wanted a justification and an apology. What happened there, man, he yelled. Little did Willie know he had to stay away from all of this. One of the two Coast Guards that approached the anxious one answered Willie with a calm but authoritarian voice. He was the older one and had a long gray beard. Stay away, boy, and don't ask questions when you have no right to the answer Willie was intimidated and backed down right away. What did these innocent boys get into? In the meantime, the crashed boat of the Coast Guard caught a lot of attention. James and Willie recognized some citizens who got out of their cars to take a look. Once they came closer, the Coast Guards pretended it was all an accident and were extremely friendly friendly toward the younger, anxious Coast Guard. What did they have to hide from these citizens? Once these citizens were reassured and left, the owner of the beach club saw his chance to have a look in peace. But it seemed different from the other citizens, he waited just long enough until the thesis Coast Guard was on his own for a second. And when he was, the beach club owner ran toward him and started yelling at him. Once the other two Coast Guards came back, the two Coast Guards shook the beach club owner's hand and treated with respect. The boys realized something was going on and decided to get closer to the crashed boat. Now that the others were distracted with their talks to the club owner, they went into the water and remained nearly invisible by diving toward the crashed boat. A shocking discovery was awaiting them. They are surprised by the enormous size of the boat and wonder why this large boat is even used so close to the coast instead of the open waters. Then they spot something leaking from the back. The boys get a little closer and come to the conclusion that the leaking substance can't be gasoline, it's certainly oily, but has more of a green color. What in God's name could this be? But right as they try to get a little closer, they hear voices on the other side of the boat. 
The voices quickly became louder, they were already very close. James and Willie don't hesitate and get back in the water immediately. It seems like they are just in time, as the two coast guards and the club owner clearly don't see them. But what about the other one? The two boys swim away and reach the beach on the safe side of the boat. Willie is determined to leave the situation, as they have already seen enough to alarm someone. But it is James who still wants to know more, especially when he takes a look at the boat from this angle. There was a victim, after all. James saw the anxious Coast Guard lying next to the boat, with his hands cuffed. The boys don't think and run toward the guard and try to uncuff him. Unfortunately, they can't manage to uncuff him, but it does wake him up. He sees them and immediately says please. Please alarm the police and get me an ambulance. The boys accept his, his alarming request and run off to get to the nearest phone as quickly as possible. But as they approach the road and look around, they see the beach club owner running after them. He looked determined, even aggressive, and the boys started running even faster. The boys reach a payphone before the club owner does, and the police soon arrive. The two Coast Guards turned out to be corrupt and forced the younger one to work for them. He had to smuggle illegal substances for the beach club owner. But this day, he panicked when he saw how much he had to smuggle and tried to escape by heading to the beach. James and Willie can now surf in peace again.